Hello, Christian Livingstone here, and I'm uh, on a new project. I just completed it, and I thought I'd share it. Uh, it's uh, 2021, uh, January, uh, the weather's good, and uh, over the holidays, 2020, 21, uh, I started a little tangent uh, project, uh, uh, which began with a uh, some materials that were given to me from a, a neighbor, uh, who was having a, a yard sale and at the end of the yard sale they had some materials left over and I said you can have these please take them away and I said okay I, I got a little idea because they had these uh, laminated uh, blocks and uh, some wood and some rebar and I thought okay you know I got some neighbors next door it's a young couple they're millennials uh, the gal's in her mid-twenties and the guy's in his uh, early thirties and I've got a pretty good rapport with them and uh, but they, they smoke cigarettes and uh, once upon a time I used to smoke cigarettes so I have a little empathy for them. I quit almost 30 years ago but uh, they're out there uh, puffing their smokes outside of the apartment because it's not allowed indoors and uh, you know I teased them a little bit that they look like uh, fiends out there standing you know around it's cold and you know they're huffing and puffing and, and so I said uh, you know maybe I'll whip you something up and so I, I did I whipped up uh, from these materials that were given to me it, it, but it kind of constrained uh, you know the form and function of uh, you know ideally what I would have done and there that's what it started at all that uh, smoke break bench and you know it's really overbuilt and uh, you know uh, that board uh, uh, that seat uh, uh, board that was what I had to work with you know I didn't have uh, much wood and you know those little footers uh, were meant to kind of float and be more stable in the uh, uh, river rock down there and uh, that was uh, overdone too I think but uh, you know it, it got me started it got me working out the ideas and of course that's not an indoor outdoor bench table uh, but uh, these other ones are so uh, you know and uh, you know all those leaves behind it like I said those these kids are Millennials but uh, this is a, a pretty cool little uh, 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 little uh, garden area when this uh, wisteria uh, trellis and and uh, uh, canopy gets going it's going to be great this is one of the first things I planted here I put that uh, trellis up there and uh, to make that canopy go and it's been in the, been in there about two years and I still haven't got the blossoms off these wisteria but I'm thinking uh, this year they're going to go so you know it's uh, grown up there and it's uh, going to hang over and it's going to be gorgeous but uh, be nice if those leaves were out of there I did it and uh, it worked for them and, and they like it and uh, but shortly after, I thought, no, wait a minute, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy some material, basically the rebar, so I have, you know, unlimited amounts to use, and I, I got some 2x20 uh, board for free, and uh, I whipped up some, some bench tables, and uh, uh, maybe it's never been done in human history before, so if you stick around and you go with me uh, down the so-called rabbit hole, you might, uh, you know, see it. You might see something that's never been done and that you can do too. And, uh, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, keep these ideas for myself. I'm a Christian anarchist, so I have really no respect for the idea of uh, intellectual property or ownership of an idea, so I'm happy to share it. But uh, I haven't decided. I made two of these benches. I made a six-foot uh, straight bench. Uh, and a, a six foot V bench and you know they, they can be standalone uh, uh, items or they can go as a two piece set I, I haven't decided and so this is what it looks like getting ready to go in after I uh, spread this out and bent it uh, you know the contour this angle here didn't uh, no longer follow this same contour I thought I could uh, you know weld it all along this seam right along here uh, but uh, no such luck but it doesn't really matter I don't think I'll be able to tack it uh, right in the center there and that kind of an aesthetic uh, still is uh, pretty pleasing to the eye I like it so uh, that's going to be uh, what the uh, that inner bin basket underneath there is going to look like but uh, yeah it's going well 
But uh, one of the interesting things is that uh, they can be used uh, as an outdoor bench or indoor tables, both of them. And, uh, you know, I, I've uh, kind of sampled uh, them both ways, outdoors and now indoors. They're indoors. They're, there's one right behind me here. I'll, I'll reveal it uh, shortly. Okay, and for this uh, V bench, uh, you know, it's been a, a good while, decades actually, probably 40 years since I've done any woodworking to speak of, but uh, this is some uh, joinery here, and uh, this is a joint, and uh, I don't have uh, uh, a lot of tools, so I, I borrowed this from a neighbor. It's uh, called a Craig uh, jig, and uh, these are Craig joints uh, when you put, uh, you know, that joint underneath and go up diagonally. And here's a box of screws uh, my neighbor let me use, too. So it's got its own uh, joint. You can set the depth and angles, and this is all set up for for uh, this uh, thickness here, and this uh, joint's pretty good. I might touch it up with the, a sander in between there, but uh, that's how they're going together, because, you know, I don't have the clamps to uh, clamp it, so, you know, when you put the screws in, it's uh, self-tightening. So this is a, a quick, smart, easy uh, uh, way to uh, do these kind of joints, and uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. They're pretty cool, and, uh, you know, I, I'll probably sell them. I mean, I don't need benches and tables and stuff uh, for myself, but uh, I like them, and, uh, you know, I could sell them and, you know, not lose any money, but I probably won't make the money uh, or make the uh, uh, up for the time, what, what my time is worth, because... You know, prototypes and one-offs are, they, they always take longer. The first one, you know, the second one will come real quick, but uh, these are the very first ones. I'm calling them uh, Livingstone Originals, and I believe it is. So this will, it'll limit me uh, right there. So let's see how it goes. Because I want to check it by uh, by putting the uh, little driver bit. Like I said, that's a square a square driver. Because I want to see where the screw comes out. And you can see the hole. I'll show you the hole, but it doesn't uh, it doesn't show through. So. I just want to see how far the screw comes out before it, it the head, uh, before the head bottoms out. I'm guessing it's, uh, it's right around here somewhere. Let me see, let me hit this back up here. I'll just show you the driving part and then uh, how far it comes out. out about the center of the piece and not uh, protrude beyond where it would normally be. Let me find something flat here. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm really liking that. So that's what we're going to get. And uh, I do. I like what I see. 
So uh, I got a friend who's got a couple of booths in a couple of towns, and you know, he said he'd put them out and see what the market will bear. And uh, so that's what I'll probably do. But for the moment, uh, you know, no rush. I, I don't need the money. I'm going to just uh, leave them here in the living room, and I'll show you shortly. Uh, uh, you know how they look indoors as tables and uh, you'll quickly get uh, and I've got other clips I had my little buddy uh, Logan uh, we kind of shuffled him around the uh, outdoor uh, areas to, to see how they function uh, outdoors and you'll see that all right and this is how I'm getting it started uh, flush with something uh, flat underneath and uh, you know then I'll walk it down and uh, it Hopefully we'll cinch up uh, quite good. And there's going to be some welding, of course. You know, I, I look for projects to weld stuff, and uh, this is certainly uh, uh, some of that. And uh, so you'll see that. It's okay, Logan's going to get busy uh, doing some cutting of the rebar. Just be careful. Don't throw any sparks towards that gas can over there. You're a safe distance, but you got your eye protection on? Yep. Okay, you're good. Just uh, another little video I'm throwing out there because, uh, you know, it was a little project, a little tangent project uh, over the holidays uh, in the winter. And uh, uh, so stick around. Now here's the straight bench and uh, these three pieces will be the same as on the V uh, bench because, uh, you know, the wood is the same size and uh, I want it at the same height and I'm going to stab it uh, underneath the uh, bench. Uh, at the same point so uh, these ends will be the same uh, as uh, the V bench so I, I don't even have to measure these I'll just uh, follow this these uh, two ends uh, you know they're the same as the uh, straight bench but that uh, middle upright uh, cross uh, piece is going to be different so this is my method for doing this using the scissors jacks some bricks Okay, there it is all tacked up, and I was uh, curious how these uh, cross members would line up with the other side, and they're way off center. The, the lines are parallel, but they're, they're skewed, and uh, so it's not going to be uh, easy to make a basket that matches the, uh, the straight bench. Uh, I, I was thinking maybe I could get away with it, just similar basket on each uh, side, but... Uh, not so much. I'm going to have to put my thinking cap on and come up with something that, uh, you know, uh, approximates the same uh, shape as that other one or complements it somehow. But it's going to be tricky. But, uh, hey, that's half the fun of this stuff. And there's what the uh, footer looks like with the silicon bronze on it. Uh, nothing too dramatic, but it's a, a little color difference. And... Uh, Hopefully, uh, you know, the bleed over, you know, when this thing is uh, laying upright, uh, you'll be able to see a little of that gold tone uh, at the base there, not just where it's touching the uh, cement to prevent the rust, uh, but the rest of it will get a, a clear uh, finish so it won't rust uh, off the uh, upper side here. So it'll be sealed, but uh, this with all the abrasion uh, down below, it. Uh, I think it needed uh, something like this uh, silicon bronze uh, treatment. And this isn't welding, this is uh, brazing, TIG brazing. It's really the first time I've used it on anything, and it's uh, kind of a new uh, process for me, TIG brazing with the silicon bronze. And it's it's fun stuff. It kind of goes on kind of like solder, so, uh, you know, you don't uh, melt the base metal, you just uh, solder over it, and it uh, wets out real good. And, and maybe I'll just show some of that, not to try to make this a, a welding clinic, but a little, a little interesting. Okay, there's one little one. I'll do about three of them. This, you know, dainty welding uh, quite easy. I'll do another one. And I'm 
only on the 110 power here. Of course, I'm not using much amperage at all on this. But, uh, yeah. And so there it is. Hit with the flap disc. Uh, you know, seemingly seamless. And uh, there it is without the flap disc. Just the uh, autogenous uh, uh, welds. But, uh, yeah, it, uh, it'll look uh, fairly seamless. Okay, and this is what I'm going for. I'm going to just put them both facing uh, this uh, uh, outward direction. I think that's uh, the more typical way this bench is going to be placed uh, on a corner rather than in a corner. But uh, even if it's uh, turned the other way, uh, you know, you can still get in those little uh, baskets from the other side. So it looks more symmetrical this way. But I haven't tacked them in, but... Uh, I'm going to tack them in uh, much the same way as I did on the straight bench with just uh, one little uh, uh, bead right in the throat of that thing and up there at the top too. And that way, uh, you know, if you really want to make a, a, a minor alteration, it'll be an easy task just to break that uh, free and uh, turn it around and point it in those directions. So. So this is what I'm go going for, decided on. Okay, there it is with uh, one day uh, with the salt and the uh, vinegar treatment. I, I think it's got enough rust. It has a, an even uh, uh, tone. So uh, I'll be ready to uh, mate the, the top up with it uh, as soon as this dries. I've, I've rinsed it uh, of all that salt and stuff. So Okay, Logan's going to run the camera, and I'm going to just show a little bit of this hammer action. And the staple gets uh, so close that it's uh, uh, a little tricky to get the hammerhead there. I'll just take one of these and drive it enough dry. A few more taps. Okay, there is the V bench outdoors as a bench, but like I uh, suggested uh, probably already in one of these clips somewhere, that uh, there's also behind the idea of these is a table. But uh, right now we're uh, sticking with the uh, bench concept. There's the straight bench up against a wall. That could be turned around the other way too, so those angles would be pointed a little different but this is the v-bench on a corner go ahead and sit on one side or the other or in the middle does sitting in the middle seem uh, as good as any or off to one you like the side better okay so two people could sit on that comfortably or three or four three or four well, I don't know about that well okay well, yeah we don't want too many people on but, uh, yeah, no, that seems uh, good for one or two or whatever. Okay, so uh, we can also put this in a, cor in a corner. So let's go ahead and have you do that. Just to lift it and uh, walk it into that corner. And let's uh, see what happens uh, when we have it in, in that manner. Now, this isn't the most idyllic uh, uh, setting, I mean... But uh, right now it's winter and nothing really good uh, looks good here with uh, you know the viney trees and plants and things. But that's in a corner, not on a corner. So okay, now how about sitting right in the middle? A lot better. You like the okay the middle in the corner? Okay, yeah. Now see if there were two people sitting on that one on each side, uh, that would be a little weird. You'd be like staring them in the face, would you? Go ahead and sit on the one side. Now imagine somebody, no, right in the middle of that side. That's where you're going to sit, right there. Somebody else sitting on the other side. That wouldn't work too well, would it? Yeah, okay, so interesting though. And, uh, you know, try sitting on this. I mean, it's just a bench, duh. All right. Okay. All right. So now uh, what I think uh, I'd like uh, to have happen is uh, let's bring these babies indoors and, and uh, take a, a look at what they might uh, seem like as tables. What do you think? Tables or benches? Uh, well, this one could be a coffee table. 
Okay. Tyler could be a bitch. Okay. Let's let's see what happens. And here they are in the indoor setting. I got the straight bench against the wall with my two little chargers. Uh, because that space, uh, you know, I don't do much with it. And over here, uh, you know, it's acting as a coffee table, an end table, and uh, I suppose somebody could sit right on there too. It's a, a bench, so, you know, there it is. And uh, I've got a keyboard uh, that uh, is Bluetooth, and I'm going to uh, leave it out here on the table to uh, go with this uh, sound system. Uh, I've got a remote for the sound system directly, but with the keyboard, I can run my uh, iTunes library a little better that way from this room, because the uh, computer that it uh, uh, comes off of uh, is in another room, and I can, you know, turn the sound up and down and off, but uh, not, uh, you know, shift to different songs and stuff. Plus, I can get the, uh, the screen of the computer on the TV here, because I've got a, an HDMI uh, uh, cable running through the wall there so I used to have uh, a wireless system but uh, they, they just didn't hold up I bought two or three of them over a 10 year period and I finally got tired of replacing it and just uh, went with a, a wired HDMI cable right out to the to the other room here so and you can see those uh, little bins for magazines or something and uh, pretty much matched them up so that's what they're like uh, indoors this will be the uh, outro clip and uh, I'll just uh, you know finish this uh, up right here indoors uh, uh, but yeah it was uh, a nice project and uh, you know uh, paying attention to the inputs uh, you know the outputs uh, as far as uh, how much I can uh, net uh, from selling them is yet to be determined. But the inputs were uh, pretty reasonable. The uh, Right now, the, the metal's uh, pretty cheap. The uh, um, sticks of uh, 10 foot long, uh, I was using uh, 3 8 uh, rebar, and uh, they were like uh, 3 and a quarter a stick. And... I think I used about seven sticks and so you know that's very inexpensive about 25 bucks worth of, of metal but the expanded metal was more expensive and so uh, you know I probably paid another 75 bucks for that so I'm in at about a hundred uh, uh, just on the uh, mild steel and uh, I uh, used up about a um, a pound of that uh, silicon bronze uh, TIG filler and you know I put those on all the joints just to dress them up give them a little aesthetic uh, but uh, you know maybe that was completely uh, unneeded and didn't really benefit much now underneath uh, you know on the uh, footers there uh, it does prevent the rust if you're gonna put it outdoors on concrete you don't want rust spots uh, under there so the silicon bronze will take care of that so you know, let's just call it uh, 125 bucks. I, I got the wood for free from a neighbor friend, and uh, that was about it. You know, 125 bucks for the two benches, uh, uh, cost of materials, out of pocket. Uh, and uh, so I don't know what I can get for them. Uh, you know, it'd be nice if I could get 500 for the two-piece set, but uh, that's probably not going to happen. You know, things aren't going so well for well for most people but uh, I think I might put them out there anyway just uh, just to get the feedback and uh, you know my my little uh, uh, trade names under there and a little contact email address under there so if uh, you know somebody buys them and you know they tell their friends hey yeah, look at this, what I got blah 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 uh, you know maybe I could get a, a, a commissioned work or two you know somebody might say yeah I I want one of those. I want a bench that goes around my tree like an octagon or a triangle or something. So, you know, I, I might be open to that. And, you know, for those people with more money, I would uh, certainly, uh, you know, charge them uh, what would be more reasonable for my uh, time. But uh, so so if if I blow these uh, two two uh, benches out for a total of about 300 bucks, I I'm gonna make a little money, but you know it might end up being about uh, eight bucks an hour, you know. So, and that's okay. I don't care. It's it was fun to do it and to, to discover those things, the inputs 
and then the output. Uh, so, uh, uh, and so, yeah, who knows? Maybe it'll lead to something else. But uh, I don't care. I, I, I can take it or leave it. So, uh, yeah, I'll just uh, sew it up right here. I'm, I'm right in the midst of using the, the program to, uh, you know, stitch this uh, little video back up. But uh, this is a screen capture here. I'm actually doing a, uh, oh, what is it, a uh, QuickTime uh, player I'm using to uh, do the screen capture uh, video. So this will be the, the uh, last clip. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully you got something out of it, and uh, maybe it gave you some ideas. Uh, so, uh, you know, go for it. And, uh, you know, if I'm still on the YouTube channel, I think YouTube is sh uh, shadow banning me. And of course, I've been uh, banned already off of uh, Facebook permanently. But uh, uh, YouTube is uh, slow playing with how people can find the channel and blah, blah, blah. So I don't know if I'll put even put the uh, titling in. Uh, you know, like I usually do at the beginning of the video and uh, the end of the video, the uh, 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 the URL of uh, uh, YouTube.com forward slash New Jerusalem Times. I, you know, I, I keep hearing uh, uh, BitChute as, uh, you know, the alternative to YouTube, but uh, I'll upload this to YouTube, of course, and, uh, you know, but, you know, I'm looking to migrate, you know. Uh, away from YouTube and you know uh, already uh, VK.com is a great uh, alternative for uh, uh, Facebook and uh, here they're noting in this article uh, um, that uh, uh, the uh, canceling of uh, oh what was it uh, parlor uh, and now they've got servers, uh, apparently, that are located in Russia, and that's about the only way to, uh, I guess Americans can get, uh, at least for the conservative uh, voices, uh, uh, you know, they're having to have uh, servers on, in Russia uh, to have free speech. So it, it, it's pretty interesting time for, uh, you know, the, the political landscape. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, we've known it's coming, you know, they, the state, uh, you know, it's a criminal organization. It's a an extortion racket, and uh, you know, uh, uh, the design of the state is to you know take your freedoms away and and take your labor away and your money away and control what you do and what your children do, what you eat, and just about everything you uh, you know think and feel. Uh, the state wants to control that. You know, it's like fascism. So. Uh, but, you know, and people always do seek alternatives. They, they want to get away from their, their persecutors. And, uh, you know, even these uh, democracies are very tyrannical. You know, you, you might get to choose the face of your oppressor, but look, you know, the bombs are still going to fall, you know. And that should be uh, very chilling for, uh, uh, you know, U.S. taxpayers. I'm not a U.S. taxpayer. I'm not a U.S. citizen. I'm a, a stateless person. So... You know, I don't include myself in the we of uh, them, and so uh, you know that's just a little little note I'll mention. But uh, you know, not everybody seems to be able to do what I can do. But I'm a single guy, so uh, you know, here I am, just a, a cowboy out on the trail, so to speak. So here I am, and uh, I guess I'll. Uh, get off the old horse here in a second but uh, yeah this will sew up this video and uh, maybe I'll catch you next time okay bye bye